Stop chasing these women. They don't want you. You see these videos online, how all these women are talking about men, saying that they're not wor they're worthless. They don't need them. They don't want them. I don't like that they get the adult dude coffee dates. I don't care how much money I ever make. I still want my man to pay for everything. He should pick me up. He should drop me off. He should buy me Ubers. In exchange, he gets to not embarrass me and breathe my air. I think it's pretty fair. I think we're even Stevens. Otherwise, um, I don't need a man just to have a man. You know, honestly, they're right. They don't need us. But guess what? We don't need them either. And I don't mean this to be one of those red pill guys or those guys trying to gas you up and tell you that women are trash or anything like that. I don't think that. But what I think we all need instead of chasing these girls, this, the OFs, the stuff like that, find yourself a partner, bro. Get you somebody who really is down for you, bro. Get, like, build something with someone. My girlfriend's behind the camera right now filming. We discuss these videos no matter what the topics are. And she helps me. I'm gonna help her with her content. We're growing something together. And I'm learning. Having a partner is so much more valuable than not. Stop listening to these dating gurus, guys. I'm gonna tell you that later in the video again, but stop. The dating gurus are designed to sell you programs on how to get dates, but no one tells you how to keep a woman. I've had long-term relationships, and I've lost long-term relationships, but that's life, wins and losses. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. So again, stop, stop focusing on these materialistic, modern women that don't want you. They don't care. They don't want to be there to build with you. They just want the finished product. If a girl only wants you as a finished product, it's not the woman for you, bro. All right? Yeah, I said it, folks. Stop chasing these modern women that don't want you, all right? You need to find a partner. Now, what do you guys think I mean by partner as I get into this set of my workout? Okay, when you were single, when you were dating and going on dates, what was something you looked for in a guy? Honesty, to be honest. Yeah. Honesty and um, the ability to talk, to like keep a conversation because I feel like so many people are great at small talk, but they can't really hold a conversation. And honestly, is it, does it matter to you if someone is super successful yet? If someone is super, you know, wealthy, do they have to take care of you? Well, first of all, success is like very subjective, right? And I am a person who's like, everyone can become successful. You can ma always make money. I don't care if a person like doesn't have money at the moment. If they're willing to like put in the work and like pursue your dreams, that's like more, way more important. And see folks, that's what I mean by find a partner. Like there's so many women to date, so many people you can do things with, and that's great. And you can have a lot of fun. But in terms of building something with someone, those relationships are gonna go so much further than just, you know, than just trying to chase your next fix or your next bit of endorphin release, if you know what I'm saying. So look to build with people. Look for people who are there. You guys can do so much together. You can work out together. You can travel together. You can build start families together, right? I know we just started dating. I'm not saying we're starting a family. Hey, hold on, pause, hold on. No, but what I'm saying is finding partner is very hard, but when you do it, it makes a big difference. And some of you asked me a question the other day about how do you find a girlfriend? How do you meet somebody? Just be yourself. A lot of you young cats are so focused on like having a girlfriend today. If you just work on becoming the best version of you guys, I'm telling you, it's going to make a big difference. Just focus on being you and you're gonna be just fine. When you were in your early 20s, was dating hard? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, Guys, it's hard. Even in my 30s, it's hard. I was single last year for the first time in five years. It's hard, but you can find someone great if you're willing to be patient, not rush a situation, and you'll be shocked at how far you can go. Well, you ready for that Passport Bro video? I think I am, I hope I am. So I'm here at Gold's, getting my session in, and I, what I wanted to talk to you about is, stop chasing these women online because of the way they look or because of what you think they can give you because you're obsessed with some image, right? I have guys who send me DMs all the time like, oh, look at this girl, look at that girl. You over glamorize and over sexualize these women and to be honest it's not doing anything for us as men it's not making us better if anything it makes us more likely to be those guys that are willing to do anything for a female's attention the best way to attract the type of woman that you want the partner that you want the person in your life that you can really build something with not someone you have to come into the relationship already having something built the way you find that woman is to work on yourself now make you your number one priority make you the person that that people are coming after, that people desire, that people want to be around. And the only way you get there is by showing up for yourself daily, by working hard, by doing the things you don't want to do, by being that person that you've always wanted to be. A lot of people feel like having a certain type of woman is going to complete you, like complete your image, complete your quest. Women, in my opinion, are typically attracted to guys that have a plan, that have a mission, that have a goal. You don't even have to have accomplished your goal yet. I mean, my girlfriend right now is recording this video for me. She's right here, you know? She's here with me. You guys saw her in the video that we did yesterday reviewing um, 
the soft guy era, right? I've been making a lot of video about this stuff, seeing these women, seeing what people are saying about men online. And honestly, I understand where they're coming from and not want, about not wanting to support a man. I was one of those guys who, I had a woman support me for years, right? But this last year of being single and learning how to really get after it on my own in ways that I hadn't really done like this before, the, the, the pride you feel, the, the thankfulness, the energy that you feel, the, the way you look at the world is completely different. And I know it's a different style of video. We're gonna get back to the reviews and me and me and Mylon are gonna be back on here tomorrow doing our passport boat video. That's coming for you. But stop trying to be like these dating gurus, these guys who never are in relationships. Stop trying to be like these guys that are probably more alone than not, right? You don't wanna be alone, right? So start prioritizing yourself and the right relationship will find you. But there's no need to chase these women that are out talking bad about you anyway. Right, so keep being yourself, keep loving yourself, keep pushing yourself, and you're gonna be so, so, so shocked at how far you can go. I'm gonna go knock out a little bit of pull-ups. Let's finish this thing up real quick. And in closing, folks, you already have everything you need to be successful, everything you need to grow. You just have to bring it out. Don't look at all these other people as the guide, as the reason as the only way. You're gonna find your way yourself. Just keep showing up, keep being you, keep doing your thing, and you're gonna be so shocked at how far you can go. You guys saw me living on a couch last year, those who were there, you guys saw me going through it. And I made it through on my own. And now I'm in a great relationship, doing even more amazing things than before, but it's because I bet on myself and believed in myself and didn't spend my time chasing these women that don't want you in the first place, that talk negatively about you in the first place. If someone's willing to call you a scrub or a bum, they weren't the right person for you anyway. So stop getting caught up in that. I need to make a certain amount of money to get a woman. Nah, man, you don't need to do all that. You just gotta keep being you. Keep pursuing your goals and the relationships, the opportunities and people will come. All right, Uncle Quan's done talking. I'm done yapping for the day, but. I'm back home about to get in the shower, but before I end the video, I want to say this to you guys real quick. I'm not saying that people who make dating content are bad people or that those programs aren't helpful or good for you. But what I'm saying is, remember the goal is to build something with someone the goal is to have a good life if we're just consistently chasing our our desires based off of like some idea that we've been sold on what dating should be like or being single and getting all these women and having all these all these partners like i learned the hard way that that's just not the way you want to be being single and dating around and, and trying to hook up with as many people as possible is just not going to be the, the way to go i watched a video where a guy was just excited that he had hooked up with a girl for the first time in his life like he had never he was a virgin and they were like gasping up like, yeah, bro, you did great. And I'm like, sex is more than just an activity. Connecting with someone is more than just an activity or a game. Building something with someone, it happens on the emotional level as well as like the financial level. And I've learned through my years of dating and the things, the mistakes I've made. If you guys ever want me to tell some stories about the life I've lived, especially in my single days, guys, I'm not someone who didn't get, like not get girls or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying being intentional when you date is everything. The ball is in the man's court right now in dating. Because men, we don't approach women anymore. We don't talk to women anymore. Because a lot of us are afraid due to some of the, the social climate. But a lot of things that happened in the social climate needed to happen. So I would say, since we are the ones that have to get out there and go you know, talk, make sure you're dating with intention, not just to fulfill some like need because you saw a girl on Instagram and you want to get a girl like that. You feel me? Uh, we're uploading as many videos as we can right now, guys. My goal is to get to 100 days consecutively of uploading just to get better at making videos, just to get better at talking and to provide value for you guys in a little bit of entertainment. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Look forward to those daily uploads and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.